Hey folks, welcome to Rising FX. Today we're going to recreate this simple hand motion graphic in After Effects, which I found on Pinterest. The main idea of this video is to show you how to take a design from anywhere and bring it to life through a simple animation. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. First, I went to ChatGPT and asked it to recreate the hand shape. After hitting Generate, I waited for the output. In the meantime, you can talk to your girlfriend. Oh wait, you don't have one? What did you say? After a few attempts, I got the result I wanted. Now, let's open After Effects and create a new composition. Pick a background. You can choose whichever fits your style. Bring the hand asset into the comp and set up the basic composition as your reference. Now it's time to animate the hand using the puppet tool. I'll set the first keyframe and adjust the points to get the movement I want. Next, let's make it smoother with some easing. Go to the speed graph. I use F9 as shortcut to easy ease the keyframes. Duplicate the layer and place it here. Now it's time to add some sauce to the main shapes. Click on radial gradient, pick a bluish tone, and make the bright color slightly lavender. Feel free to experiment with your own colors until you get the vibe you want. To give it a more grainy, cinematic look, add noise HLS. Then, add a big circle for a subtle light from the bottom. Add gradients to the rest of the spheres, and don't forget to add a deep glow effect. Copy and paste it across all spheres for consistency. Now let's add some movement to the spheres. Create a null object, parent both spheres to it, and give it a clockwise rotation. Do the same for the next two spheres, but rotate them anti-clockwise this time. Add a small scale-up animation to the main middle shape for some extra depth. For enhancement, apply CC Starburst for a starry background, and add CC Light Sweep to give everything a glossy, polished look. Now duplicate all these layers and rename them to create a new color theme. Adjust the colors however you like. Now I'll cut the comp on the right peak of the graph. This is the moment when motion feels smooth and natural, so the color switch looks seamless and dynamic. And there we go, our final result. Don't you think that was super simple? If you don't mind the girlfriend joke, then please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more crazy motion graphics and cool effects content. Bye, see you in the next one.